Hey guys, welcome back to the Destinations channel. I'm Sal Patera and today we're going to talk about cutbacks that have been made by Carnival Cruise Lines over the years. We're going to come back to talk about them right after this. Welcome back cruisers and thanks for staying through the intro. As always, if you're new to our channel or you're just not subscribed yet, click the subscribe button and the little bell notification that way YouTube will let you know every time we upload a brand new video. So the other day I was on our Facebook group, which by the way, there's a link to that in the comments down below if you'd like to join the group. And we were talking about things that Carnival has done away with over the years. And well, most people think it was to save money, hence why they're called cutbacks. Now, if you're a new cruiser, you probably don't remember any of these, and I think that's what the cruise line relies on, is that new cruisers won't remember. But if you've been cruising for a while, you probably remember these cruise cutbacks. Let me know if you miss any of them, or if you even remember them in the comments down below. Number one. Number one is the platinum and diamond boarding area out when you're first boarding the ship. Years ago, it was a small room, just had two desks in it, and when you went in, they had all of your paperwork ready to go for you, and you were the very first ones to get on board the ship. You never had to wait in any lines. Later on, that platinum and diamond area, because there were so many platinum and diamonds on board, that it became a big area, and it was just a separate line to go in. You still got on board first before the general population that wasn't platinum and diamond, but there were lengthy waits, even though you were in the platinum and diamond area. Number two. Number two, and this is something that Debbie, my wife, really misses, is there used to be toiletries in the bathroom. There used to be soaps and shampoos and moisturizers in a little clamshell on the table right there uh, in your bathroom, ready for you. In case you didn't bring any of those toiletries, you didn't have to go down to the gift shop and purchase them. Number three. Number three, and this is something that I actually miss, is mints on the pillows. When you came home from dinner, you had your turn-in service by your room server, and you would always find Carnival mints on your pillows. I actually miss these, but I do know why Carnival did away with them. I would see people actually walking the halls, going to the room steward's carts and hoarding the mints that was on those carts. I would see people walking away with literally baskets full of mints. So they went by the wayside, but it's actually something that I miss. It's just that little personal service at night. Number four. And this is something that recently just changed again, is free 24 hour room service. So when I first started cruising many years ago, room service was completely free and it was 24 hours a day. Then they made a change a few years back to where only half the menu was free and it was still available 24 hours a day. Then they limited it to half and half, but it was only for certain hours. And just recently they've made it so the entire room service menu with the exception of some breakfast items is paid a la carte. And it is still only available at certain hours of the day. Number five. When I started cruising, if you got seasick, you would go to the guest service desk and they would give away Dramamine for free to help you get over your seasickness. Now you gotta pay as much as $10 for those pills up in the gift shop. Number six. Number six is free sushi. Sushi used to be free on a lot of the ships. There would be a cart out at dinner time where you could get su sushi for free. Then they started charging a nominal fee for it on that cart. And now the newer ships have sushi restaurants, which I have to admit, in my opinion, are some of the best restaurants on the ship. The sushi's not expensive, but it's no longer free. Do you miss the free sushi? Number seven. Number seven is the Midnight Buffet. Now this was absolutely awesome. I really loved it. At midnight, the main dining room would open up and they would have an elegant buffet where the food was admittingly as much as artwork as it was food. Now, Carnival did away with this years ago because if you went through that buffet, you noticed a lot of it were things that people really weren't eating. They were just put up there really for the art of it, and a lot of food was getting wasted, so Carnival did away with that. Number eight. Number eight is the Midnight Mexican Buffet. So when Carnival did away with the Grand Midnight Buffet, they turned it into a Mexican buffet, and while it still was artsy, it was getting eaten because it was a lot of Mexican food. They did this for many years until they did away with it. Number nine. 
Number nine, and this is a recent change, no more 24 hour pizza on board the ship. Now pizza is only available from 9 a.m. to 4 a.m. every day. The rest of the time when it's at its slowest, the pizza shop will close. And on a caveat, Carnival now offers pizza delivered to your room for six bucks a pizza. It's no longer free if you have it delivered. Number 10. Number 10, and this is also a recent development, Carnival is shortening the sea day brunch by one hour. So we're gonna be cramming more people in the dining room for those two hours that'll be open for your sea day brunch, but they are cutting it back by one hour. Number 11. Number 11, and I have to admit, this is a big one for me because I do miss yesteryear on the days where the cruise ships were more elegant. And that's a simple thing like no more tablecloths in the main dining room. Now, some of the ships do add the tablecloths for elegant night, but for the most part, the dining rooms no longer have tablecloths. I kind of miss that little bit of formality. Number 12. Number 12, and this seems the real one that a lot of people miss, and I'm quite sure saves the cruise line a lot of money, is there's not lobster on every sailing. On six days and less sailings now, there's no more lobster night on the main dining room during elegant night, so you'll have to pick something else like a filet, but if you want that lobster, you'll have to take a seven day or longer cruise on Carnival. I really miss this one as well. Number 13. Number 13, and this is a big one, less crew in general on board the cruise ship. You may have noticed in the main dining room, there's now only a few people handling a lot of tables when back in yesteryear, it used to be three people for every four tables in the dining room. Now there's two people for every 16 to 20 tables. So you'll wait longer for your food and it does make a difference. Although I have to admit they do an excellent job with the staffing that they have. You'll also find less people making up your cabins. There's a lot less stewards that work on your cabins and the stewards have many more cabins to take care of. So gone are the days where your cabin is made up twice a day. Now on the first day of the cruise, your room steward will visit and introduce themselves and they'll ask you if you prefer to have your cabin made in the afternoon or in the evening. But if you're expecting that two times service that Carnival used to have, those days are long by the wayside due to less staffing. And you'll also find less staff at the bar. I have found that waits at the bar for a drink are much longer than they used to be because there is a lot less staff on board. Number 14. Number 14, and this is one that I really, really miss, is that you won't find many nighttime ports where you stay in port late into the evening after it gets dark. I miss this because a lot of times there's bars right there at the pier and it's just kind of nice to be out at night enjoying the evening. Carnival learned years ago that money gets spent on board in the evening time, especially at the bars on board and in the casino. So those night ports have really gone by the wayside. You can still find them, but they are few and far between. Number 15. Number 15, we have to talk about Elegant Night. It has changed completely over the years. It used to be before dinner, you had a captain's cocktail party in the main lounge where the captain would come out, they would introduce all of their staff. There'd be a live band playing, which is another cutback we're not actually talking about in this video, but it's definitely something that's missed where you could dance with a family member up on stage. And by the way, drinks and hors d'oeuvres were completely free. That changed a few years back where the captain would just come out on the promenade deck and there would be $1 drinks. And now it seems that even that has gone by the wayside. As well as in the main dining room on Elegant Night, the menu, well, it's pretty lackluster compared to what it used to be. You used to be able to get a, as we mentioned before, you used to be able to get lobster or filet mignon, and the menu just seemed much better where today it's much more Americana with less expensive foods. Let me know what you think. Do you miss the captain's cocktail night the way it used to be? Or do you not even know about that and really don't see it as a big deal? Number 16. Number 16 is your platinum and diamond gifts. Now back in the day, every sailing, except for your first sailing, you would receive a special memento pin for your sailing, which was a carnival funnel and the name of your ship. That eventually changed to a platinum and diamond gift, which was also a special pin that was left in your cabin. And it depicted your cruise, the sailing, the year, and what level you were in the platinum or diamond. You would also receive a special dessert that was delivered to your cabin. And those things now, while they haven't completely gone by the wayside, Carnival definitely made a cutback in that they're no longer delivered to your cabin. 
the platinum and diamond gifts and pins, you actually have to go to the photo center on board the ship to retrieve them, which makes it so a lot of people don't know or forget. So Carnival gives a lot less of them out. And as far as the special dessert, the chocolate delight, you now have to actually call room service and schedule a time for them to bring that to your cabin. Again, I imagine most people either forget or don't want it and end up not getting it delivered, which saves Carnival a lot of money in the leeway. Number 17. Number 17, and this is something that I do really miss. On the last day of your voyage in the main dining room, the crew would come around and they would give you a really cool placemat to bring home. It usually had a hand-drawn picture of the ship on it, and it was something that even here in my office I have framed and put all over my walls. You no longer receive them today, and it is something that I really miss. Have you had any of those? And what did you do with them? Did you frame them? Do you still have them? I'd really like to know in the comments. Number 18. And number 18, and this can't be missed, obviously, is higher prices in general. And I'm not just talking about the cost of your cruise. They tend to fluctuate and go up and down, but higher prices on board, higher prices for the internet, higher tipping percentage, higher cost of drink packages, higher cost of the soda package, pretty much everything on board has gone up. Now, inflation is obviously a thing today, but even before this last inflation battle, things were going up in price, especially the gratuities. What do you think of this policy? Do you miss the, when cruising was really an affordable thing? It still is affordable in my opinion, but less affordable than it used to be. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And as always, thank you for watching our channel. Please make sure you click the subscribe button and click the little bell notification. That way YouTube will let you know every time we upload a brand new video. Also, as I mentioned before, down in those links is a link to our two Facebook groups. Join one of those and stay up to date and a lot of conversation with Carnival and other cruise lines. Thanks for watching. And remember, always happiness comes in waves.